Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. So like, so sometimes they'll just come in the room and just check on you. Sit with me for mm -hmm. like an hour or two, like, and nobody's saying nothing. Like, That's and, dope. And, and you know, and we just there, and and um, I just used to have the pictures, like pictures of my family. And I go through all the pictures of just her and like, damn, like I can't believe this. Like she right here, she smiling, she happy, like she like, like she gone. Like, and, and this would drive me crazy, but it's just like, I don't know. I just felt like I was like, man, she came to me in, in a dream one time. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never gonna forget. And in that dream, I won a million dollars, so like a check. So the people was like, yeah, she won a million dollars. And I seen her and I dropped the check. I was like, I don't care about that much, I want you. And she say, no, you gotta, be strong and stay strong. Pick up that check and take that money and and, and whatever the case. I was like, no, I ain't stand no check. And it's like in my sleep, like I can feel her hug me. Like like I, I, I kind of felt her like I've over me. There. I've been there. And like and it woke me up and I'm like tear eyed. Like it's damn. crazy. I've like, been bro, there. I, I've been the same dream, exact I, same dream. I was like, damn. I just felt the hug. Like yeah. touch me. Like bro, like I. It like, woke me out of my sleep. Yeah, me too. And yep. it's like, but I felt the spirit. I was like, man. No, and real. I believe that dreams, all dreams have meanings. Yeah. They all have a meaning. They all come to you for a reason. Maybe that time in your life you needed that. Yeah, like her telling me to be strong, you right. know, because it, it it didn't really matter hearing it from anybody else. Nobody else, but hearing it from her, her. it was just like, okay, like I can do this. Like I can fight through it. And it's like, like doing that period of time, I, 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 man, I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about doing some crazy stuff. Like, where, like I was like, I was just on on go. Yeah. But everybody in that dorm knew, so they was just like, you know, little bro, like, cause it was some days, like I, I'm telling you, like I didn't sleep. Like I probably get like a hour nap, wake up, and I'm up all day. Yeah. And, like I ain't eating. Like it, it was like a whole, excuse me, it was like a whole week I ain't eat. And like people like, bro, you gotta eat, you gotta do this. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no appetite. Like y'all, they, they, they were some on like, bro, I get it. I lost the purse, I lost that purse, but you gotta, goddamn, you gotta shake it. I'm like, oh, shake it. They was like, oh, we don't mean it like that, but bro, you gotta take care of yourself. You know, that's what they would want. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, because whenever you know, of course, I never experienced what you've been going through or what you went through, but being locked up and hearing that. Is it a case where, you know, you know how you, you know it's true, but you really don't want to hear it in denial until you actually come out and see that she's really not right there. there. And that's key because it's like, you know, from being locked up and, and being in jail and prison and stuff, and you know, they really not really there anyway. Right. But you can call every now and then. So it was just like, it was not, it was just like, okay, so I can't call her. Right. So eventually... That's what I made myself believe. Like, you know, so I just can't call her right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So got down. So when I finally got home, you know. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about that, like coming home to a whole different situation than what you left. Right. How and did? How, how was, was that? that? How I was mean, it coming back into it was uh, like society? Like leaving, you know, and, and like, you know, I, I was locked up when I was 19. I got out when I was 22. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. you know. Just leaving from there, like I had both my parents, I had like a life. And your grandpa. Set up, yeah, granddad, you know, mm -hmm. he played a big role in my life too. So it's just like coming back, you know, like when, by the time I lost dad, I was already numb. So it's like, it, nothing didn't phase me, like no more. So I, I was like, I was just stone cold. Like, it's like, okay, it is what it is by that time. So by the time I came home, I was I was happy to be home, but that that's when it started hitting me like, like, damn, like, Okay, like I'm expecting to come home, and I, these are the people that I want to see. They would mm -hmm. embrace you. Yeah, they would like like well, we all could have grabbed yeah. each other and cried together. They like, would pick um, you up. Yeah, so you know, but it was my, my brother, my girl that at that time, my brother girl, and two of my aunts and stuff. So um, so um, when, when, like when they came and picked me up, and I was walking out the gates and stuff, you know, I was happy to see them, and you know, it was like damn, like you know, I'm free, like. But it's like on free and you know, my day ones I ain't here on my day one out. Wow. So so uh, you know, like I, I changed clothes, we, we went and got food and stuff, and you know, they took me to the grave site to see my um mom. And and I ain't gonna lie, I really didn't have no feeling. Like Yeah, you already done went through so much. Like it's like I, I was there, I looked at that ground for about 
two minutes. I was just like, all right, come on, so I'm ready to go. And they was like, you good? I'm, I'm good because my, my mind, I was, I was, I, my heart is, you know, stone it, cold. It was already stone cold because after, after losing that, shit, I went numb. So shit, after that, I'm like, I'm, I'm good. Like, don't nothing phase me. But after being home for a period of time, that's when it started to hit. Start to affect you. Like, it's like, oh shit, like, bro, they really not here. Like, they really gone or or this and that. And then that's when a little envy started to kick in like cause I see people older than me 40s and 50s Got and they parents they parents I'm like man you sound familiar <laughs> I'm, I'm like bro I'm like bro God like why me like shit you know these four old and they got their parents their parents still here and, it, and the first thing that everybody do is blame God no I'm not I ain't blame I'm just like why, why? me you know I'm like, I, I'm like I ain't never been no bad person or my parents went bad people you know we help people we love people we you know my dad and my mom did a lot for people I'm just like why so, you know, and I see kids, shit, with they parents and stuff and babies and stuff. You know, I ain't like that. I'm like, man, what, what the, what? I'm like, and, and crazy thoughts start going through my head. Like, you know what? I say, I, I, I really just want people to see how I feel. I was, I was like, boy, wow. I want to do something. Do something to everybody so everybody can see how I feel, you yeah, know? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.